Hey everybody, today I'll be taking a look at Fjord. It's a two player tiling game. Uh, it plays pretty quick and it's pretty easy. Let me show you. Uh, you start the game with the three starting tiles which have a different background color open. There are some placement rules so you can actually only put these three starting in one way because they always have to match. This is illegal. See, because it's half mountains here and not there, so this is the only way, or this would be a way. But to be able to, uh, to match this one, this is impossible, so it has to go like this and like this. It's the only possible startup uh, way. So, on your turn, you grab a tile uh, and you must place it. Like this, it's all rocks. I can't play this anywhere. There's also the placement rule that uh, you can only play bordering two other tiles, so you also can never place over here. But this isn't uh, doesn't matter right now because I can't play this anywhere. Then you just put it open uh, next to the other tiles, and you pick a new one. So this is what I said earlier. This is illegal, although it fits. You always have to border two tiles. So there's only one legal placement for this tile. That's right there. So I have to put it there. No choice. Next player goes. And you can always, uh, once it becomes possible, I think yeah, this is only the only option. Once it becomes possible to use one of the tiles that's open over here, that have been drawn previously but couldn't be placed once it's possible you may always take one of those and put them but you don't have to you can always choose to draw blinds or take one of these now when you place a tile you are also allowed to put one of your forms so every player has four of these forms in his color you have a black and white in this game so well, on your turn, when you place a tile, you may always place a form. I will show you later why, uh, why, what's the use of this. So actually play continues until you run out, out of these tiles. I won't uh, place them all. Uh, I'll give you a bit of landscape to show you guys. Doesn't fit. Okay, so let's say there are some farms. I will actually, I will just fast forward. See you guys in a second. All right, so I've fast forwarded the game. So this is what happens. Every turn a player draw a tile, placed it, and sometimes they placed a farm if they could, or if they wanted. Um, you can only place them on the grassland. So then start phase two of the game. Uh, let's say black place uh, or let's say white placed the last uh, tile then black can start in phase second in phase second the players also have a lot actually 20 of these chips and what they can do they have to place it next to a form or next to a chip that was already there connected by the grass and they claim that land and you can block other players so let's say black starts a very good move for him would be this because now he has locked white out of all these tiles. They are now his. White can't reach them. If uh, white was first and he had placed, these were his. So that's a good move. Black starts, he claims this land. White, a uh, good example. Maybe he'll try to lock black out of, let me think, maybe over here. So this guy is locked in, black, black will try to reach over here, white will block him, black will try to block white over here, white will try to get out, black will block him again, white is now gonna block this black guy, black is gonna keep going, white blocks him off. Black, uh, this would be the last good move for black, I think. White, here, block. Uh, actually, black should have uh, placed there. I, anyways, we'll continue. Black's turn. I think all the land, oh, you can block white. 
I missed that one. I'm not playing that good because I'm playing fast for you guys. Uh, White's turn. Any place he can still block? No, I think. So, black. Can he block? I think it's already done actually. So then, black. White. Black. White. Black. White. Actually, once everybody is blocked off, you can just put the chips. I think white is done. You can't place them anymore. So we have a winner. The amount of points is the amount of chips played. So we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 16, 10. That's the first game. The rule suggests you play three games and you tally up the scores and then you have a winner. So final thoughts. Um, I like this game, it's okay, it's not great, but it's fun. Um, in the first phase, you're just pulling tiles, placing them, and then it can feel like you don't have a lot of control because the placing options aren't that many. But after a while, you put some tiles aside and then you get some choices. You have to choose when to place your farms and when. And once you have played the farm, uh, placed one, let's say uh, during the game, this wasn't there yet, and I placed the farm here, then it's good to start building lots of fields so you have, have a lot of access to land to claim but as soon as black puts and then it's up to black to go there and put a farmhouse there so there is already some tactics in phase one phase two uh, there is an optimal way but sometimes like I, I missed also some things here you have to really look where the grass is uh, going and then you just have to move you to block as fast as you can and this was a good first move immediately blocking white out of these four and then you just try to block each other and then you place your chips count up the points it's not that hard but you have to play it uh, at least one time to see the link between the first phase of placing the tiles and the seconds if you have never played it's hard to imagine the things you have to look for but after uh, one game you know in the first round where to place your farms and what to watch and how to build the land um, there are also actually some uh, tactics oh, I actually missed one <laughs> white has another point um, there's also some tactics in trying to not be the player who places the last tile because if you place the last tile the other player starts with the chips and as you can see you can immediately plays a, a really good chip so it's handy to start but you have an influence over this because you put tiles uh, that you can't place for some reason at a certain point of the game next to the board like I have placed these um, and when this is the case on your turn if you can see uh oh I'm gonna be the last player to place then you try not to take a face down chip but one of the open ones and then you're not gonna be lost and then the other player has to try to place one of these and just about six seven turns before the end you have to start calculating if you are uh, on track to not be lost uh, and then you can force it it's harder but it's it's definitely doable it's something that uh, will separate the advanced players from the basic so overview uh, it's a fun two-player game, it's okay, it's a tiling game with a unique uh, aspect, with uh, land claiming and it's nice visual, it's something, it's a nice game for two players, plays fast, it's simple and it looks nice. Uh, thanks you guys for watching, see you later.